Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm okay. Mrs. Hamlin? No. No? No. Sorry. <laughs> Cynthia Smith. It's all right. Yeah. Sorry about that. I see uh, 
Dr. Lawson at 11. Okay. It's a heads and tails kind of day. I'm checking my head, he's checking my tail. <laughs> have a stuffy nose every morning or whichever way I lay my head on the pillow that next morning that side nostril will be stuffed up. Okay. I don't know any, if that helped. Do you use any use allergy medicines? I okay. used to use Afrin but then I stopped and then when I was sick the last time with sinus infection they prescribed um, a nasal spray I mm -hmm. think was Clonase? Yeah. For take a zone? Yes. And are you using that? No, I finished it. It was okay. a 10 days ago. Okay. I'm going to look in your nose. Okay. Your sinus openings. side of the right of my neck and on Mother's Day last year it was my whole torso from the center here to my spine with blisters. I didn't wait as long to go get looked at this time. I got right to the ER when I saw the rash so I never blistered on my neck but it's still sensitive and a little painful. I always have an ice pack on the back of my neck. I've been looking for those shoes for a long time and I can't find them anymore. These? Yes. The, aren't those the Red University? Oh. New Balance shoes? Yeah, I don't The New Balance, <laughs> I don't know. If, I got them on Amazon. No. Well, the ankle foot orthotic doctor said the best shoes together are New Balance for orthotics. sinus and ear symptoms are all intertwined. Um, I'd like to get a hold of your hearing test that you had, had before. I used to carry it with me anymore. And we probably should get a new one to compare over two years to see where you're at. Okay. I'd also like to get x-rays or imaging of your sinuses. Okay. And your um, sort of middle ear to okay. kind of evaluate what's going on there and what we can do to help, help you. Suck all the fluid out of my head, but leave my brain alone. <laughs> you know, you definitely can if if you know if it seems as though the station tubes are not working properly. Definitely, we can look at putting tubes in for you. Yeah, you know, I've had zero tubes put in, and I just I can't believe I've waited this long to get frustrated with it. My seven-year-old granddaughter got tubes in her ears, and she did really good with the process and uh -huh. everything. But when I was seven, I had my tonsils out, because I had tonsillitis so many times. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. I can't wait someday to not swallow in my ears pop. Um, so we're gonna get the X-rays. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna re-prescribe that nasal spray because I'd like you to use it every day because I think it would be helpful for your particular. Is product. morning okay? Because uh -huh. I'm okay. Because morning is when my issues are. When I I'm from Littleton, Colorado. And when I lived in Colorado, I never had allergies, and since I came to Oregon. I sneeze a lot more, but I don't know if that has to do with what I have going on or if it's allergies. Um, well, have you had allergy testing? No, sir. So, yeah, another thing that uh, could be helpful is we could do allergy te testing. 
Um, I think Dr. Dilcher at one time gave me a, a pollen shot. It uh -huh. was something to do with the environment, but I don't remember what it was. testing we'd actually would do in uh, uh like who's Bay okay. location okay is um is it near the Bay Area Hospital? I've been to North Bend Medical Center so I know where that is. Uh yes we're I'm in downtown Coos Bay. Okay. So we'll work we have to we have to get authorization from okay. your insurance first. Yes. So that's one so I think that'd be helpful to get done as well. Thank you. Uh, so we'll get those things done. We'll restart the nasal spray. Uh, get your uh, repeat hearing test. Thank you. I had a hearing test done in Colorado, but it was more than four years ago. Well, I think having the one two years ago and comparing them will at least okay. give us the. Uh, right. Well, I'm waiting on the referral to go see her because Trillium called and said. You're okay to go in and order the hearing aid for your right ear because I only have one for the left ear. Uh -huh. And so I had the Wanda lady at Dunes who took Dr. Dilcher's spot put in a referral, so, but I have not heard anything from her well, yet. I'm going to put a request in too. Okay, thank you. And then we'll, um, I'll be back here in a month and we'll okay. go over those things. Okay. That would be wonderful. I appreciate it. I feel like a little kid again. <laughs> well, hopefully we can figure out how to make you feel better. Yeah, I'm... make me feel like I did before age seven. I don't even remember that. But yeah, it's... I have so many other issues and chronic illnesses and injuries that it's just one of those things where I should have started with my head and worked my way down. It's just all over it. Well, we're going to help you with it now, okay? Yay, thank you so much. Sure. Um, any other questions for me? No, sir. Okay. I'm very grateful. Thank well, you. You're welcome. So, just stop out front. Yeah, i got to go see Dr. Webster now for me. Hello. Good afternoon. Welcome back. Well, it's a heads and tails kind of day. I've I always... have some jeans with holes in them. My mom used to ground me. She'd buy me a brand new pair of Levi's and I'd slice them up. <laughs> yeah, I was just at Dr. Webster's getting... Finally, I was supposed to have tubes put in my ears as a child. That there was a bone in the way or something, so I never had it done. Well, I still get ear infections every year, and I get these. I've had hmm. enough. So finally, he said he's able to help me. Wonderful. Can I go river tubing with what I have going on? I mean, I don't do that in the river in the first place, going number two. I just, I know there's bacteria and stuff in the water, and I, I don't want to put myself in. Trust me, <laughs> you got a whole lot more bacteria in your poop that slides through there every day than you're going to find okay. in there. Okay. Forget about it. Well, I like to be safe. <laughs> Are you managing? Yeah, that? yeah, it's, it's a hard area to keep dry, but, and I tried the pad thing and they won't stay in place. So I was thinking, what if I use a tampon? It's smaller and it's cylindrical and maybe it'll Try stay it. there longer. Try it. Yeah, I'm, that was going to be my next try. But the Lady King Joel is a, a blessing. <laughs> I love that stuff. 
use it? I do. Um, so I, try, I don't know where you'd like to float, but uh, if you're... Smith River. We go to Smith River, Falls Campground, and we're on Smith River or Umpqua River. Yeah. Miles. It's fun. So the best memories we have with kids is floating with kids. I've been doing it since I was two, and my dad found a picture of me, him showing me how to do it on one of Grandpa's big rubber black tubes. and. With all my disabilities I have going on and the osteoarthritis down here, it is the best summer sport for someone who's got back pain because when you put your butt in the donut of that mm -hmm. tube, sure. you are in nature's ice pack. Yeah. And it makes you feel so good because your pain is gone. You can enjoy the trees, the sunshine, the kids. Wow. Yeah. And hammocking, which is what caused all my issues. I got back in the hammock a couple of years ago. So. My husband hangs it with ratchet straps this time. Good. Yes. <laughs> Enjoy it. Okay, and it's it's, it's about the same. It doesn't come out very far. It's still noticeable. It's there, but if I need to, I will push it back. I would recommend for you and everybody else who only have surgery. Okay, so Okay. And I know it probably gets worse over time. Over time, things stretch. Okay. All this stuff, besides that, yeah. You know. Yeah, I find it weird, like in the morning, you know, how we all have to pee in the morning. Well, I can never, throughout the day, I can't do number two unless number one is empty. And I don't know if that's because I've had all my female organs taken out. It's all just gone. Surgery, <laughs> your stuff Thank you. Down, yes. And scar yeah. tissue and, yeah. and the sagging. Yeah, it's just part of it. I've had a lot of surgeries. I, just, I, I want to make sure I was safe. And it sounds like with this doctor next door, I have to get a head x right now. I have to meet, do lots of stuff. So if this is okay and we can like follow up in August or... September or something. Enjoy your summer. Float. I have to show Float. my smile. I don't Float. care about the mask. <laughs> I'm going to go play with my grin.